Good morning, uh, welcome to uh, Ullswater. It's a, a beautiful June day. It's a beautiful June day. Um, we're just coming out of the pandemic uh, caused by um, COVID-19. Um, this morning I'd like to talk to you about buoyancy aids. Uh, my name's Stuart. Um, I've been canoeing for around about 30 years, which is more than I care to remember. During that time I've picked up a vast amount of experience, um, assessed and non-assessed. So, uh, my choice of buoyancy aid. Um, if you have loads of money, people will say that you can have two types of buoyancy aid, one for white water, one for, for placid water. Um, I find the sport expensive enough without having to go out and buy two lots of buoyancy aids um, just to suit somebody else's gender. So my choice is the Palm White Water Extreme. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, this is my purely my personal choice. Um, I find it fits comfortably um, and I'm going to show you what I carry in it. In this front last patch I have just a small Prusik. Um, Prusiks tend to be used uh, when I'm needing mechanical advantage in a brooch situation on a river. In the main pouch I have three Three carabiners. Um, these two are just normal climbing carabiners. Um, this one is commercially bought uh, carabiner which basically means that I can extend my paddle. Um, this fastens open I can extend my paddle and basically use it as an additional clip. Um, good bit of kit which means that you know tie a rope to it pull it in um, or tie a rope to this bit pull it in um, it just means that I don't have to put myself at risk when I don't have to in this pouch I have a, a tape um, this is a three metre tape I've got a little bit of traffic here a three metre tape uh, it comes in handy for all sorts tying onto trees for belays um, if I'm needing to throw it into the water to pick somebody up, it, it's a good bit of kit I really would recommend. Uh, this is just climbing tape, which uh, I haven't got any, uh, they, they do commercially make them as well with little loops at the end and what have you, but again it's expense, so it comes down to what you want. In this pocket I have my business cards, which is always good to have, I have them in plastic. Uh, there's a whistle. Um, the only time I ever use a whistle is when I want people off the water, so it's just a quick blast and it gets people off. In this pocket I have my river knife. Um, it's one handed open or better still it is teeth opening. So That's just a, a little bit of duct tape on there, just means that I can use my teeth to open it up. Uh, it's a locking knife. And the only time I use this is, uh, is for cutting rope, my throwback, if I need to. So the Whitewater Extreme Buoyancy Aid, I think, is a very comfortable buoyancy aid. And when I purchase it, uh, an item, that's basically what I'm looking for. If I'm spending eight hours or so in a boat, or maybe it's even longer, if I'm on expedition and what have you, I want something that's going to fit, be comfortable, um, and that's that's basically my my standpoint. So it goes over the top of the head. It can go over the top of the head. Catch my glasses. When you wear it, it wants to be low down on your body. If you are in the water, the lower it down it is, the higher up you are out the water. Basically you pull the edges here to get it tight around your waist. There's another two uh, tighteners just underneath your armpits here and it's just a case of getting them nice and snug. Um, these I've got these adjusted to the way I want them and basically if you want them tight you just pull them, pull them down uh, and it tightens them just a little bit more. It's got a chest harness on 
Um, this is my summer um, kit. As you can see, this is quite long. Um, in winter, um, with additional kit on, that becomes a lot shorter. Um, again, it means that if there is an issue in the water, because there's a chest harness in the group, at least I'm able to, to go in and get them out. So, thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it uh, informative. If you like what you see, please comment. If you don't like, comment. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. One thing I did forget to mention was the fact that I have a, a saw in the saw pocket, which is, uh, again, a handy technique. It means that I can saw myself out if it gets broached and uh, I get pinned and trapped inside. Um, for those people who don't know, uh, where the the, um, the harness goes, there's a little pocket in there which just slides in. Biff, baff,